The Jaguar i-Type 3 and iPACE e-Trophy need to operate at maximum performance no matter what the environment. We are in Archipelag, testing to the extreme of minus 30, minus 40 degrees. By far the coldest place I've been in my life. And also, obviously, driving the whole day in, uh, in this amazing weather, it's, it's priceless, it's amazing. We use our testing facility at Archipelag for, for a number of reasons. Fundamentally, you, know, you have to make sure the battery is within its correct operating temperature. When you're not using the car, clearly the battery is getting to a very cold state. And you then have to introduce kind of the heat gradually. You don't want to create thermal shock in the battery. That's really, really important. Um, and of course, we are then looking from a software perspective to manage things like you know, the traction of the car, the way it delivers the power. It's not only in terms of acceleration, it's in deceleration. We have obviously a lot of uh, tools that we can use from traction control, stability control, to basically allow the, the occupants and the driver to, to drive serenely whilst being on low, low grip conditions. So Santiago was, was one of the hottest events I've been to. But those extreme temperatures affected the car in a couple of ways. With the battery, there's obviously a, a chemical system going on inside a battery cell. At some point, if you get it too hot, it will start to overheat. So the drivers can have an impact. The quicker they go, the, the harder they accelerate, the more they discharge the battery. That up and down process, positive and negative, the, the faster and the harder that that cycle occurs, that makes the battery hotter. If they regen less, if they charge less when they're braking, the battery gets less hot. We had a really good race. A lot of teams struggled to maintain the temperature of their components. So as a team, I was really proud of the guys. The drivers worked really well with the engineers to keep them cool. So they knew if the motor was getting hot, they'd do this. If the battery was getting hot, they would do that. And they worked really, really well to keep us running and keep us in the race. We're evolving electric vehicle powertrains. We're at the forefront of pushing that technology forward and just showing the kind of true capability of what electric vehicles will be achieving in the future.